Yellow. Ciao. Oh yeah, that was a while ago. <laughs> I'm impressed you still remember the uh, the webcam streams. Yeah, I got this capture card like 2019. Actually, no, it was 2020. Wait, no, was it? Yeah, no, it was 2019. So almost four years ago. Hard to believe it's been that long. Oh yeah. Life does that to you. Stunned and tethered. Oh. Both those greens are on the edge. 
And additionally, the one started to lose its stun. Yeah, a lot has changed since 2019. I don't think that there's really a uh, single run, like, full game run or IL, like, mission that stands from 2019. Also, yo, what's up, Vicious? What if I name a split of Vicious as my waifu? Hmm. That's a good question. What do you think? <laughs> A5. You'd rather save up for low percent. Saria just redeemed? Oh, that was Saria, goodness. <laughs> Hello, Saria. Thanks for the good luck. We should race it when you do it. Let's go. And yeah, hopefully we won't, we won't find ourselves into a situation where uh, we get 11 boos, but we don't beat the, the current world record. Because that would be really not fun to deal with. Definitely not worth the gold for that. So you should just catch it the first one. That was really close. Dang. Definitely harder on eighty percent. I might amend, or not amend, but uh, modify the split name slightly.
We'd have to do the vicious in the run. I don't know, what is that? What are you talking about? I've never heard of that trick before. I would just say vicious is wiper. Not necessarily my wiper. It's kind of garbage. Oh yeah. That barely worked. It is. Just the community wipe, dude. Yeah, dude. There it is. <laughs> A special split name just for you, Vicious. Oh yeah, for sure, totally. Yeah, the reason it's so expensive, um, I hate that Twitch, like, doesn't give me an option to, um, you gotta, well, the, uh, the, what's it called? The reward doesn't say, like, to completely rename the split, it just says name the split. So it still is A5. But yeah, the reason that um, I've made the low percent thing so expensive is because I know there's some people in the chat who have like an insane amount of channel points. Um, and Twitch is like dumb and gives us no way to like fix that. So yeah, this is kind of like a way of me being like, oh, for the people who have a lot of channel points. Um, I don't know, this is like a way to reset that, maybe? <laughs> Probably some of the memes. <laughs> Might have redeemed the, the meme reward at one point. There's a strat to like double these guys more consistently. Oh. Yellow. 
Ciao. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. I did it. What? Ah. Ho, ho. Beats a didgeridoo. <laughs> Dude, that could be a quote. <laughs> also, yeah, I guess B5 would be a good choice. It's at the very end of the early game, or end of the visible splits in the early game. So whenever I reset, it's always going to be there. Very smart. <laughs> oh, you're on your phone! Oh, what a relatable experience. Is that 20 characters? <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna have to check that one out. That's what I appreciate if the slammer would, uh, you know, not be all the way back there. I'm a bit low on gold after that. Actually, really low on gold, that was awful. Usually walking out of there with like at least 60. This game is a 1 out of 10, that's good. I, I already checked, whatever. Uh, this is, yeah, maybe. I'll see if it fits. It's 25 characters, oh, get out of here then. Abbreviate to like LM2. Instead of game. very behind on gold after this. The foyer was just so bad. Should have gotten a plant uh, when I was in the patio. Very strange RNG there. Oh, 
Nice. That's good. The pace is good, but not the gold. <laughs> Take it to the pawn shop. Yeah, dude. Big profit. I do not know who that is. Oh no, I forgot to reset. No matter, I'll just lose 10 seconds, it's fine. Oh, Pawn Stars, yeah. Should get all the gems appraised. <laughs> Reset? Yes. Thirty eight webs. That's really good. <laughs> Let me see if I recognize the other room. Oh, unfortunate. I do not recognize that name, I have not memorized that one. Wife, who are she? I think that's all the webs there. Okay, that's parlor. Lovely. You still keep it at the beginning. Actually, now that you mention that, okay. Perhaps if you include the split name, or the name of the mission in the split, it can stay. Or replace the... Um, it's not really a mission name, is it? A1 is not the name of the mission. You can replace the mission identifier at the beginning of the split. So now I gotta think of cool <laughs> jokes for any other splits that that can work with. Bit of a stretch. Yo, hardcore, what's up? Just started running this game? Nice. Oh, that's really good to hear. 
We've been seeing a lot of people pick up this game this year. It's really, really cool to see. What kind of runs have you done so far? Or have you just been practicing and not done any runs yet? Because I know the game does take some time to like. Definitely not as bad as other games, but every speed game has its, you know, tricks. C3PO, oh my gosh, you guys are going crazy. I'm not going to read that one viciously. <laughs> Before redemption. Hang on. <laughs> Crying before the split. Thanks. All the hiders fast suck ups I just can't handle. Try Gloomy Manor at 80% and Haunted Towers. Nice. Found your Google Docs thing. I can't remember how, but been using that. Nice. Glad that's been useful for you. Because, yeah, that is one of my resources on Spearman.com. I could see how that could come up in a Google search. Um, but, yeah, if you go to Spearman.com slash LM2, in the Guides and Resources tabs, um, we have a whole lot of stuff that can hopefully help you out. One of the resources is named uh, Google Drive folder. So I've like compiled a bunch of resources into a, a Google Drive folder and some of them are more useful than others, but that's a really good place to go um, to just find a lot of the resources that have been made over the years. to commit is a fatal flaw. Oof. Well, you run like everything, Zarya, so it's understandable that, you know, you can't really spend too much time on one thing. Yeah, within one of the, the folders, there's a document called um, Speedrun Strategies, Speedrun Strats, something like that. Yeah, I think that's probably one of the best documents I've ever made. It's very far from complete, however. Okay, that was good. I hate the boss. Wow, you guys are good with these, uh, these puns. Also, I will get that split uh, renamed as soon as I get a moment here. <laughs>
Really good stuff. That was a good boss mission. It's my gold. It's hard to tell because this cutscene's so long. Two fifty-eight. Honestly, that's like let's go gold split. Um, <laughs> that's on par with like my early times for the mission. I think world record was over three minutes at one point. So. So yeah, definitely on its way. I don't think that works, Yoshi. <laughs> oh shoot, I forgot to delete the space. There's a space uh, at the beginning of that. Split name. I'll fix that eventually. Rolls off the tongue, yeah. Has anything changed since the Google Doc? Um, which one? <laughs> the one with the strats or the one with the route? That's okay, I just wanted to get some extra gold. Gold is very, very lacking at the moment. Oh, oh yeah, I missed the greedy one e house. <laughs> I don't know how to say the N after that. Greedy one N house? <laughs> oh, the one is part of the one, or excuse me, the N is part of the one. <laughs> Greedy one house. You're D1 for me. Hey! This guy did not. I agree, that is a good one. <laughs> Plant just rejected the spike ball there. That's cool. Ho, ho. Hey, hey. The one with the route. Uh, yes, actually, I do need to update that one. Not terribly much, only E2. <gasps> the route for all the other missions is still the same. Fine. But E2, we discovered a... The most major skip in the game, actually. Like a month ago. I don't know if this angle's gonna work. Oh, it did. Okay, cool. So yeah, the skip is like actually nuts.
Okay, that gold's gonna help a lot. Not gonna completely make up for the gold I lost in A4, but definitely um, make it easier to get the upgrade on this next mission. A bikini stream. Oh goodness, yeah. Why didn't I think of that? Oh. Yellow. Ciao. Oh yes. Oh, oh. I did it. Wow. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I... oh, wow. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's still something I need to fix here with my splits. Yeah, that's right. This. And that. Oh, apparently there isn't a space between or before the C on that one split. The spacing just looks kind of weird when it's italicized like that. Hang on, I really need to want or really want to check how much gold I have. 15, 13, okay. So I need 500 gold. I think that's doable. You can probably flash one of those flowers while you're waiting for that. Should have done that. <laughs> Is that the strat? <laughs> Did I do that correctly? Wow, that hider has never dragged me that far that way before. Did I? Oh, I got so confused that Pinwheel Vane just disappeared. Or it looks like it did, I lost track of it. I'm like, did I suck it up? <laughs> Dude, I've never seen one try to. Well, maybe not never, but. Did not expect that slammer to try to hit me from that far away. You're kidding me, man. I tried so hard. I'll accept nothing less than a triple now. Like, I feel so cheated from that. <laughs> wow, dude. Unbelievable. Also, yeah, we get 9,000 gold in this round. I 
or I guess more specifically or technically, we're trying to get 7,000. At 7,000 gold, you unlock the tier 3 uh, power surge. So you can deal like a lot more damage to ghosts. It wasn't always that way, though. Like... When I started running the game, I thought it was faster just to ignore gold. So, I actually, like, purposefully... Not, like, purposefully, but... I never focused on gold for, like, some time. And... Actually... Yeah, that was, like, really early. Then I was like, okay, maybe gold is actually good. Yeah, it is a little bit of a time investment to go out for gold. Shoot, I should actually get this. I I'm not like terribly in danger, but my gold pace is still like pretty bad right now. Gonna lose some time on this split. Right, yeah. So another like big development of the run is getting these gold bones. Um, for a long time, I thought it wasn't worth it to get the gold bones. Like you get an egad call when you collect the first one, and it's just like a big hassle to, you know, go through the whole animation, collect the gold bone. But when you think about it, it's actually kind of fast. Like. Uh, how much money you get from a gold bone. The gold bone takes five seconds of real time to get, um, which it's often less than that if you're overlapping it with other actions. Like the one with the slammer there hardly costs anything. Like, I think it costs two seconds or so. Because a lot of it gets overlapped with the, the slam response. But yeah, regardless, even like 200 gold for 5 seconds is not bad. I guess, yeah, to be completely, like, um, thorough or whatever um, on the explanation. A gold bone can be obtained once you have 200 gold, like, collected. And then you have to search an empty object that is also not um, important. And also one that you haven't searched already. And then the gold bone itself will give you um, 200 gold. Oh, that's so unlucky. <laughs> So unlucky, dude. Don't even want that gold. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, if you if you can do it, it's without going too far out of your way. Like if you have the two hundred gold and you're like, let me just cash this in for a gold bone, or not cash it in, but like you keep your two hundred gold. And you get the two hundred on top of that from the, the gold bone itself. Uh, this should work. Yellow. Nice. Ah, oh, didn't get the slow walk animation that time. That's nice. But yeah, gold is by no means like the entire story of like going fast in this game though. There was a runner who I knew, or didn't really know, but was aware of, uh, who ran this game. They finished with a time of like three hours, and they, I want to say they only got like 4,000 gold, which is really low. So they only had the tier 2 power surge for most of the run. And never got up to the tier 3. And still got a good time. Yeah, 4,000 is definitely not... Not ideal. If you're going for the tier 3. I was nervous about that one. Probably could have kept on surfing that, but it's alright. Better to be safe with this fight. Honestly, gonna go for this chest. That does not take long to get. Little gold spots like that is something I really love about any percent. Like the run gets so intricate really quickly with how runners decide to get their gold. Yeah, A4, I I missed uh, a lot of gold from the ghosts in the foyer. So usually you're supposed to get like two doubles, and you know, you get a gold bar for every ghost uh, when you're catching multiple of them. But I messed that up. Well, not really messed it up, but I got really bad luck. The slammer went all the way to the back, um, so I couldn't double with the slammer. And I only ended up getting one gold bar from the fight. Hmm. Oh, 
so yeah, right off the bat there, I was down like 60 gold. Um, and I'm supposed to get a gold bone in that mission. But because I was down by so much, um, I didn't have 200 gold when I searched the object. Uh, so I didn't get the gold bone either. So from A4, I was down 260 gold. And I haven't really recovered since. I think we're probably up there enough now, though. I think I'm doing all right. I did mess up the um, the slammers in the uh, the courtyard. I think is the name of it. Yeah, the courtyard in the beginning of B three. I messed up that slammer triple. Lost a lot of gold there. Not like terribly much, but um, like forty gold there. See, I needed to make up for that. That's good. It is, yeah. Wait, what am I doing? You don't need that. That's a gem in there. Um, but yeah, I remember that was the very first skip that I ever found in this game. It was a Rumpus Room skip. This hydra's in. Okay, it's on the right. Oops. Hey, hey. Yeah, I was like twenty. Did I find that in twenty fourteen? No, I think it was 2015. But yeah, Rumpus was the first. Actually, it might have been 14. Definitely not the first skip I ever discovered, though. Well, it might have been. Sorry, that's all the really early history of Darkmoon speedrunning is very sparse. The people who ran the game, like in the early days, did not really have a place to, uh, I don't know, really like talk about it with each other. Like we're spoiled by Discord right now, um, and that's like the main hub. But back then, Discord didn't exist. Is Japanese the fastest? Um, no. I want at least a double with this. Can't believe that was a tier two. Good, I can get a gold then. So yeah, there are no region differences that we know of that affect the speedrun. I guess there is like a very small thing. Um, like, text doesn't matter because you skip all of it. Um, Cutscenes also, you know, you skip all those. Oh, my goodness. And 
there's no like exclusive tricks. But there is one very minor thing. So, in the C3-1 cycle that uses the EGAD call, EGAD storage thing. Oh. Hello. Oh. I don't know if, you're, if you've if you seen that yet, yeah. but there's a way that we one cycle the um, the C3 poltergeist using a trick called EGAD storage. Oh, yeah. And EGAD storage makes use of like the EGAD call that you get. Um, well, I guess it depends. It's actually like on how you trigger the EGAD storage, but in C3 we use the, the gem call, so EGAD calls you when you get your first gem on the file, and we abuse that. We get our first gem. Well, usually you don't get any gems, but we get a gem in C3, um, and because it's the f only one that we get on the, uh, the speedrun, EGAD calls us there, and we get EGAD storage from that. And the Japanese uh, dialogue from EGAD is different than the English. Um, like, not just translation, but like, like the the whole like dialogue. He talks about entirely different things, and it ends up being like twelve text boxes, um, as compared to on English, only four text boxes. So the the skip, it works like. Pretty much perfectly with four text boxes. Like, it's a very um, convenient number for us. Because, like, you need four A presses to do all the stuff that you need to do with the skip. Um, whereas in Japanese, the 12 text boxes is just way too many. So, on Japanese, it actually requires like a slightly different strat, um, which can arguably be more difficult. I mean, once you get used to it, I'm sure it's not that bad, but... But still... <laughs> That's like the only real difference. But would it be worth me learning that in the long run? Um, it's a really cool skip. Um, I think it's probably the... It's really hard to compare it to the E2 skip that we found. It's this last spear bow, oh my god. It's horrible RNG. It was off camera for so long. But yeah, both of that skip, the C3 one and the E2 one. They're both really cool skips. Uh, like, that's Conservatory Skip. Um, if you hadn't seen that one before. <laughs> so you can just walk out that door. Uh, really cool skip, found by Banana in 2017. But yeah, the E2 and C2 ones are like really cool skips, and they're not like particularly difficult. Well, I guess the E2 one might be. Don't need to catch these guys, but I missed some gold from the, the sneaker. So yeah, I'd say they're worth learning. Um, I wouldn't like stress too much about it. Like if you're not comfortable with them, like definitely don't attempt it in a run. Um, 
because like both of the skips can kill your runs. Both of them can soft lock. Both of them are a bit dangerous, <laughs> so yeah, don't go for them unless you're like feeling comfortable with them. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I would recommend uh, individual level speedruns. So, like, we're very blessed to have a, a mission based game. Some people really hate Dark Moon for that, but in, in terms of a speedrun, um, having missions is a very nice way to practice everything. So, we have a mission, or excuse me, IO leaderboard. And. It's a very nice place to just... Oh, so close, dude! No way! <laughs> I just attempted a staircase skip there, barely missed it. Unfortunate. But yeah, IL runs are a very good way to practice. This is really bad RNG. Gonna clear this one and go back down. Small little optimization here. Uh, if you go down the staircase that you've already cleared, um, doesn't spawn a ghost. So, like, if you're unsure of the next staircase and you don't want to guess, um, that's like a, a viable option. I actually knew what the last one was, but I. Or the next one was, I just didn't want to go up too far. Okay, it looks like we have right center, bunch of rights at the end. Okay. I think I got it. Okay, yeah, not bad. I'll take it. Really highly recommend practicing this mission. B boss is a hard one. Like, get consistent with uh, two cycling it. Like, there's a bit more strategy than just memorizing it. So, like, you'll notice there, like, I was memorizing the very top of the staircase. Like, as I was going up in the final, you know, the final run up the, the staircase. So yeah, memorize the top of the staircase, like on your final go. That's really unfortunate, got a slow animation, couldn't do the- Oh my god, wow, what's this guy doing? Um, memorizing the top is important, and then after you do that, you just kind of follow the torches as they uh, reignite themselves. Sounds good, Harker. Enjoy your lurk. Thank you. 
I think I'm doing okay on gold, but that's a really easy stack to get. It costs less than a second. Or not really much more than a second. Not bad. Not perfect though. There's a strap or like. Hang on, no focus for this. Okay, yeah. It's not a particularly hard trick to get that bomb, but it is missable for sure. <laughs> yeah, there's a strat in that previous room with the greenies. You can just, like, go to the right instead of to the left for the first greenie. I've never done it though, so, like, I am not, like, comfortable with that. <laughs> That's bad. Where was it going, dude? What the hell? Man, that sucks. I've never had an issue flashing the first screen. I don't even want your gold. Get out of here with that. Should have cancelled the flash when I saw him pick up the bomb. Really good RNG there, though. <laughs> that bomb was insane. Oh, 
so hard to get that inspection for some reason. Hmm. Lost a gold bar somewhere. Something weird was making noise in that room. Which mission do you think would be the best to do in IRL? It's actually a really fun question. B boss would suck. Oh my god, you're right. that. I feel like A5 would be pretty bad too. <laughs> it's pretty boring, just go around sucking up webs. You get to sit in a chair at the end, yeah, true. to get the gold bone, I think. If I reveal the pot at the bottom, I should be fine, though. Oh. <laughs> True A boss, yeah. That one would suck. there. That was really good. D2, get to slide down the slope. Actually, yeah, going all the way down to the bottom of that mine.
Yeah, Secret Mind would just be good overall. You get, like, the portals to mess with, um, you get the zip lines and the slide. <laughs> Actually, the slope might kind of suck. Like, can you imagine how bad your ass would feel after sliding down that? Like, I know ice is generally pretty smooth, but there's no way it's not bumpy. <laughs> and it's ice, so it'd be, like, hard. <laughs> So maybe not the sliding part, but the, the zip lines would be fun. And the portals. Good point. Luigi does have to deal with a lot of shit. I did it. Maybe E2 could be fun. <laughs> I don't know, it depends on how like good the toads would be to talk to in real life. I was just thinking, like, imagine the conversations you could have with the toads. Well, like, maybe you could, like, get to know the C5 toad and wonder why, or figure out why they're so afraid of clocks. Imagine soft locking IRO. Oh, true. Well, just, I guess we just won't do the skip, then. It's too risky. But I feel like in real life, you'd probably have, like, more control. You know, you could probably, like, reach around the corner with your foot. Um... Feel where the ground is, and like... Hello? I know there's more ways to softlock than just that one corner that I'm talking about, but... Yeah. Yeah, you could jump the, the gap. Drain suck up, but it would just not charge. What exactly would you jump over? What? 
I guess here in C3, you would like jump over the railing and. What am I doing? <laughs> you jump over the railing and catch the boy guys early. But I mean, like, half the skips you could do probably wouldn't even work. Like, that one definitely wouldn't. If we're gonna say that you're gonna soft lock in real life, you'd probably not be able to do some skips in real life. Oh my god, bro. That's too close for comfort. Always so scary, man. <laughs> oh. Yellow. Oh, yes. oh, oh. E5 would be fine because you can mad rich after, for sure. <laughs> that one would be fine. But imagine having to carry all that gold. I mean, honestly, any mission you play, <laughs> a single gold bar is probably, like, enough to have you set for the rest of your life. <laughs> okay, maybe not, like, your entire life, but... Well, maybe, I, I don't know how much uh, a gold bar of that size would, would go for. Green bailed on that surf. I do it. It shrinks true. Okay, so when you unload the boulder gust, does it make them bigger again? I guess it would have to, right? No shot, you wrote an, an essay. That's crazy. Shoot, you can do that. That's cool. It's actually the first time I've done that. Oh, 
I remember Banana mentioning that, like, ages ago, and I've never tried it. Because I always forgot. We we'll always do the old threats. Awkward help. Not a single double bar for many of them. Please tell me it despawned. It did not despawn. Lovely. Lost well, like 10 seconds to that gold bar. I refuse to say I lost time yet. <laughs> it's split early. Pretty good run, and Clockworks has been going well. But yeah, I got the really cool uh, C3 skip. A little bit of a close call, <laughs> but, but I got it. The gold pace is also pretty good right now, definitely where it should be. That was definitely not optimal. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Probably don't even really need to be worried about gold. Oh, thank god I made the cycle.
really. But yeah, the thing about um, the C3 one is like, well, you need to get the Poltergeist um, down to either 2 or 1 HP on the 0 cycle. So it's basically a 0 cycle, um, but you can't actually catch the Poltergeist on the 0 cycle. Because if you do, it soft locks. And by zero cycle, I mean like before the fight even starts. Um, so yeah, the trick is actually like allowing us to drain the polar guy's health before the fight even like really begins. But we can't catch the polar geist, uh in that state because then it soft locks. So we get them down to 1 or 2 HP. Any higher, uh, the trick won't work. And of course, any lower, then, well, you just caught the Polar Geist. I run on 3DS. I'm using an original 3DS XL. The game doesn't really run on emulator. Come on. Hey, here's something called maintenance skip. shoot Toad onto the gear, he gets stuck, and then respawns with you on the other side. Beautiful maintenance skip. Skips the fight on the, the gear piece in the middle. Yeah, no. <laughs> He got up. Uh, but yeah, on the like vanilla build or whatever the the standard build of Citra, Dark Moon runs at like half speed, even on good hardware. are out. far, but at least I don't have to wake up Toad. So apparently there's a build of Citra that's been made out there. It's like the Valentin build or something like that. That actually runs the Dark Moon really well. I tried to look into it a while ago, I couldn't get it to work. Or like I didn't download the right one or something like that. But yeah, to this day, no one has ever done a run on emulator that I know of.
which a big part of the reason is because we ban it. Um, Emulator is currently banned on the leaderboard. Because Citra and its default build is just not good. But yeah, I'd have to like research the balance and build. Just to see if it actually is viable or anything. Come on. All of my runs are on emulator, sure thing, Vicious. I didn't quite catch how much gold I need. I think I need like 500 though. To get the upgrade. But yeah, the gold route in any percent has been gotten down to kind of a science. You get the tier 2 upgrade in B2. Or the first upgrade, I guess. You get the second upgrade in C2, and then the final in C boss. Or the final one that you need. Super critical that you get um, this upgrade in C boss, but it does save a little bit of time for menu. Yeah, you at least want the tier three power surge for for D two. You don't need it in D one, but for D two, it's definitely gonna help. boss annoying during runs, or just normal? Depends on how it goes. <laughs> it can definitely go pretty poorly. But no, I'd say D boss is definitely the most annoying. <laughs> it's weird, the possessor doesn't usually go that way. Triple is mostly RNG. I guess the hammer's next. Yeah. Nice, that was really lucky.
If the hammer guys spawn too close to you, you know, they just don't have time to, uh, to lower their guard. Last one. I don't really need to be focusing on it. single these two. So when you have iframes, the bombs will instantly explode when they touch you. Or at least they should. I thought so. Try to be uh, greedy there. I would normally accept this double any day, but with a sneaker around, I can't really take it. Really unfortunate. That wave usually goes a lot better. Like, I would have liked to have caught the sneaker. So it wouldn't have caused issues, but... But that's okay. Is losing health bad, or does it really not matter? It usually doesn't matter. Uh, there's two things that it affects, though. So, first of all, it causes ghosts to spawn hearts more... Um, it's, it's more likely for a ghost to spawn a heart the lower health that you currently have. So in any percent, when you're really going for gold, um, sometimes it's bad to be low on health because then the ghosts will be giving you hearts instead of gold. In this mission, that's really not much of an issue because I have all the gold I need, so... Hearts at the end are actually kind of good because I'm trying like not to get too much gold. Or more gold than I need. Yo, what's up, Landon? How have you been? Oops. But yeah, then there's one more thing that gold affects, or excuse me, damage. The rank that you get at the end of a mission 
is one to three stars. The one star rank is slightly faster than the three star rank and the two star. Um, and likewise, I guess the two star is faster than the three star. It's just the animation that Luigi does just so happens to be faster. Ah, uh, <laughs> oof. Sorry to hear that. Well, hopefully you can relax a bit. Get your mind off of it. There's a cool trick. If you look at a greedy um, with your flashlight, it'll interrupt their attack. Actually, any ghost. Just about any ghost will stop attacking if you look at them directly. Doesn't work for, like, some of the armed greenies, though. But that greenie who doesn't have anything will stop punching. Right, it's very small though, like, I think the, well, the three star is the slowest, then the two star saves about a second, if even that, it's like half a second, and then the one star saves a little bit more than the two star does over the three star. Um, the one star saves like, maybe a second and a half to two seconds. But yeah, it's a pretty small thing. And damage, you know, it affects the rank that you get. So if you can take damage without losing time, um, sometimes that can be a smart play. Because then it increases your chances of getting a 1 star. But again, it only saves, like, you know, two seconds at most over a three star. Hypothetically, microwave a hot dog, huh? Hmm. I I wouldn't honestly. <laughs> I don't think hot dogs are meant to be microwaved. Really good basin. Not perfect, usually you want to go to the left side instead of the right, but... After the, the triple I was just... <laughs> had to make do with my position. Like, four minutes? Oh yeah, go for it, man. That hot dog will not explode at all. <laughs> Just eat it cold? Oh my god. Yo, the bug is still here. Hi, bug. <laughs> Shoot, did that lose me time? <laughs> I think he got like waited to call me there. It's funny. Nine minutes? Goodness, th there would have been nothing left. <laughs> of course, I I'd imagine there'd be some. <laughs> I'll do five to be safe. No vicious. <laughs> what was the whoa noise? 
or woo. That is my gold split sound. So whenever I get a gold split, you guys get to be, uh, what's the word? Get to be graced with the wonderful sound of, of woo. It's from Mario Maker. Back in the day when I used to play Mario Maker 2, uh, that was one of my favorite sound effects in the game. Yeah, it's a 250-24 or something like that. But yeah, I'm not running against my PV splits because I'm still like in the de-rusting phase. Like before I picked up any percent like a couple weeks ago, I hadn't played it in like four years. Maybe not that long, maybe only like three and a half, but Still. Fun. Yes, that was crazy. Nice, got this got the, the trick. So there I did a little spin around. You might have noticed that. I dropped the log and then spun Luigi around. I was trying to get the flashlight on all the ghosts so they would stop attacking. Both the sneaker and the greenie were like really hungry at that point. Or, I don't know, <laughs> really ready to hit me. But yeah, these splits are like Aww. modified custom splits to uh, have a nice comparison. Because I don't think I could keep pace with my PD. Imagine you had cheese sauce. How long would you microwave that for? I would not microwave it because I do not like cheese sauce. I personally think cheese is like disgusting on its own. Like, I mean, of course, yeah, it is disgusting on its own, but like, I think cheese is one of those ingredients that you need to be very particular about and how you add it to a dish. Did I start to run again because of E2 skip? Partially, actually. The E2 skip has definitely brought a lot of interest back to the game. Like, I feel like it kind of stole for a bit. And the E2 skip kind of helped with that. Not completely, I mean, the game kind of... So, it's been a little quiet so far in February, but January was a really big month. But yeah, I was practicing the E2 skip one day, and I was like, I wonder if this is possible on any percent. Which is a very legitimate question, because in any percent, you don't have the super polar gust. So like, all the runs that we had done with E2 skip had all been done on a completed file, which had the super polar gust. Which is actually like kind of useful for like one specific part of the trick, and we were wondering if any percent would still be able to do it without the extra power. So 
so I booted up an any percent file, or not any percent particularly, but... I just booted up a file that could do it without the super blowers, and tried it there. And to my surprise, or not really surprise really, but... I verified that it could still be done without the Super Bowl Ghost, which made me want to be the first one to do it um, in an actual run. And I think I was. I'm, I don't think anyone else did a run. Not even New Game Plus. I don't think anyone did a, even a New Game Plus run where you had the Super Bowl Ghost. I did it for the first time in an any percent run. As far as full game runs go, I mean, obviously I have done it in individual level speed runs many times before, but that any percent run that I did was the first time it was done in any percent or in a full game run, I think. What would be your go-to container for the aforementioned cheese sauce? Uh, nothing. Because I don't like cheese sauce. <laughs> Why should I take that back? It's like really particular. It depends on what's going on. Nice, got it. Very small, like, window of time there where you can inspect the fireplace too early, and you won't bring the chandelier down far enough to melt the ice. Too late, and obviously you, you don't inspect it in time, and the cutscene starts. But do it just right, and you combine both the animation of going down with the cutscene of the ice melting. How does the new game plus speedrun work? Um, yeah, it's... Not quite a completed file. I mean, it can be. That won't lose you terribly much time, but... The optimal file for New Game Plus has everything up to E-Boss um, completed. I should say everything up to E5. So if everything up to E5 completed, and you don't have the the boss of Treacherous beaten yet, because the first time that you beat the Treacherous boss, the game has a special cutscene which sends you directly to King Boo. So having a file set up like that saves like 20 seconds, versus if like you wouldn't have... Um, Or versus a file where, you know, you have everything already beaten. Maybe not, actually. But yeah, New Game Plus... It was a category... I, I made it at the end of 2015. And... When I did my first run of New Game Plus at the time, I immediately, like... thought to myself, Wow, this is a good run. This might be my favorite category. And the reason why, like, I even made the category in the first place. Um, the Super Polar Gust is a pretty major upgrade. Like, it drastically changes the feel of the game. So, 
so yeah, it's just really not uh I don't know what I'm trying to say, but the the power of that boulder gust and the fact that you don't have to worry about gold in that run. Even though it's the same like missions and the same um, same stories, you're beating the same game. The run itself feels very different because you don't you're not worried about gold and you just have so much more power. Right, any percent has more depth, I agree with you, Visions. Like, any percent has gold, it has a cool skip that you can't do in New Game Plus. Well, you could do it in New Game Plus, it's just New Game Plus has a faster strategy that you can't do in any percent. That's fine. Well, I thought I searched that too early for a second. So I'm going to try to catch this slammer in a specific spot. Usually after the third chain ghost, Egad calls you. And the call, you know. It takes time to, you know, it takes time to take that call. So, we use that to our advantage. Um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's really not that you're taking the call, it's just that this elevator takes time to go down. And when he, he calls you there, he teleports you down to the bottom of the elevator. So, like, you're still spending the time to take the call. But it has, like, the added benefit of uh, skipping the... Elevator ride. I guess another um, like distinguishing factor of New Game Plus that like really separates it from any percent. The IO leaderboard for our game like takes place in a New Game Plus setting. You know, when you try to get the best time on a mission, um, we don't care if it's like from a fresh file or not. Um, obviously, that wouldn't be very good. So doing IL runs, you have everything unlocked. So the New Game Plus speedrun is kind of like a culmination of everything that you do on an IL uh, setting. To an extent, it's kind of a topic for debate. There are some strategies that are like exclusive to um, to IL speedruns. And because of that there's been like a little controversy controversy over the years of like those should be um, allowed or banned in IL runs because they're not viable for like actual uh, RTA new game plus speedruns. Oh. Yellow. 
Ahari is key dipping and gloomy. Hey, nice skull spot. Um, are you talking about the... I assume you're talking about the garage one. Honestly, for me, like when I was doing it, I hadn't done it for very long. Sometimes I was good at it, and other times I wasn't. Overall, my consistency wasn't that great on it, though. But I'm sure, like, the consistency can definitely be way higher than what it was for me. How much does it save? It doesn't save anything RTA. Um, RTA, it's just not viable. But for ILs, it probably saves like 20, 10 to 20 seconds of in game time. No shot. Man. That was way too early. I've never had to like time it on the first wave, usually the first wave doesn't have any issues. So RTA stands for real-time attack. It's a Japanese term. Or I don't even know, it, it's not Japanese, it's like, it's popular in the Japanese community though. I'm not sure the origin of it. But yeah, it basically just means a speedrun that is done uh, with a timer. So like this run that I'm doing right now is RTA. Because I have live split going and, you know, I'm timing this with real time. So kind of the opposite of RTA is IGT. IGT, it's not really the opposite, but the other more common timing method is IGT, which stands for in-game time. Um, so that uses built-in timers within the game, which uh, Darkmoon has some of those. We use those for our IL runs. I hate it when you have to time the centerpiece. It's not gonna hit. Oh, this mission was awful. Oh my goodness. I had to, like, think it was over before it was over. Goodness, such an awful mission. I haven't had a C3 Hooper, excuse me. I haven't had a D-Boss this bad in years, literally. It's probably been five years since I had a D3 this bad. Or D-Boss, whatever. Correct. For IO runs, we just use the in-game time, which makes it very, um, like, appealing for new runners. Because you don't have to record, you don't even have to time it, you just need to take a picture of the results screen, and that's it. It's a very simple run to do. Uh, 
Archer. Thanks, Vicious. Yeah, IELs are super nice. Because they let you practice the game. And they let you, like, do actual speedruns of it at the same time. by that guy. So that was a uh, guard tunnel skip. That was discovered by Banana in 20, 2018. So yeah, you wait for that mouse to come out, and then during the iframes that you have from the mouse, the greenies who spawn they won't scare Luigi. Or they will they'll try, but the iframes will prevent the flinch animation. And because of that, you have enough time to run uh, past the paranormal gate that spawns. But then, like, the most interesting thing about that skip is that you have to catch at least one of the, the two greenies that spawn. Which is why I was, like, hanging around so long to, like, try to catch one of them. If you don't do that, the game actually crashes at the end of the mission. There's a faster version of the skip. Um, you know, waiting for that mouse obviously takes some time. There's a faster version of it that uses the um, the gold spider. Um, the enemy itself doesn't have to be gold. It just so happens that that enemy is also gold. Um, but yeah, you can push the gold spider in the previous like section of the room. That was interesting. Did I just discover some tech? Was that fast? <laughs> um, but yeah, you can use that spider to achieve the same result, but it's just a little bit harder to set up. Maybe not harder, but just more involved. <laughs> Jump button? <laughs> Actually, yeah, I take it back. That definitely, it definitely is harder to use the spider. The mouse is basically just stand in the right spot. Alrighty, the mission you've all been waiting for. That's right, it's E2. Time to witness the cool skip. Hello, Ritz. I love that you know that. That's so good. Yeah, I hope you're doing well.
Don't listen to him. <laughs> there is no such trick in this game. Called the Vicious. <laughs> The skip right now is generally referred to as Purple Toad Skip. So, I mean, you skip a little bit more than just the Purple Toad there. Nice, got it. It's a really hard triple to get. So yeah, E2. There are two toads in this mission. The green toad and the purple toad. Oh, yeah. You're meant to rescue both of them. Take them to the courtyard. Climb the stairs in the courtyard. And then finish the mission by inspecting the, um, the pixelator screen there. If you're familiar with the mission, you'll, you'll know that the, the courtyard also has a, a fight with a boo. So it's not so easy. Once you try to activate the stairs, a boo shows up and like ruins all the plans. So this skip will be skipping both the... Um, the Purple Toad in the Ice Age exhibit, and the the entire fight with the Boo in the courtyard. It also skips a fight in the uh, the Ancient exhibit. So, like in total, we're skipping three fights with this skip. However, in order for it to work, we do have to add an extra fight that we usually don't do. So yeah, I've just rescued the green toad. I'm gonna take a small detour to the the Grand West or Grand East, I think this is called. Come on. I need to catch those sneakers. Come on. Just like E1, um, with that skip. I need to catch them so that the mission doesn't crash at the end. There's some sort of sort of check or flag that the game sets that involves those sneakers. <laughs> right, Vicious? Come on. Okay, so now here's the fun part. We take this bucket to the entrance. And this is where the shenanigans begin. Okay. I'm surprised that worked, but really happy it did. So yeah, usually you're not supposed to be able to get that balloon berry, but by using the bucket, you can get just enough height that Luigi is able to like reach over the railing um, and grab it. It is harder on any percent because the border gust isn't as strong. So in New Game Plus, because of the extra strength, that isn't quite as bad. So now we've gone to the Dark Age exhibit with our Bloomberry. Um, thank god Toad is able to respawn up there. Okay. <laughs> That's usually not so hard. But yeah, using the collision with the wall there, we uh, can like clip out of bounds. It might look like you can just like go out anyways, like we're not really clipping. But there is a wall there. 
just so happens that there's also a hole in the wall, like visually, or yeah, I guess visually. That used to be like a really hard part of the skip for me. Still kind of is. Come on. Come on. So yeah, right now I'm just navigating out of bounds to get to the courtyard. I have to stay out of bounds for this whole, like, part of it. Because there's no way to reach the pixelator screen. Mm -hmm. Uh, in bounds at this point. Wow. That's not normal. <laughs> so unfortunately the floor has despawned. Doesn't usually happen. So the way to fix that is just to go back to this room. Really unlucky. Come on. Toad is just happy to be out, out of bounds with me right now, that's weird. Okay, anyways. Now we finally clip back and bounce. And the trick is complete. Huh. We finished the mission with only the green toad. Here you go. But the purple toad is still in that cutscene. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh. Yellow. Ciao. So yeah, really cool skip. But oh, yes. lots of places it can go wrong. I did it. Pretty sure the check is lighting either Grand or Grand West or East, yeah. Because with the no out of bounds, we light up West after having both toes, no ghosts, yeah. Well, the weird thing about that, Rex, um, is that the Grand West also has the ability to spawn sneakers. However, um, the sneakers don't spawn in like the normal route. I think like they might only spawn when you uh, only have one toad or something like that. But yeah, it's, it's definitely not necessarily lighting them up because you can light up the the Grand West um, by catching the Gold Greenie. If you catch the Gold Greenie in the Grand West, it'll light up the room. But it's like not completely finished, of course. You know, there's still the sneakers um, who will make the room go dark later on. So that's kind of interesting. Yeah, actually, Banana and I did try it. Um, we tried to catch the Gold Greeny in the Grand West, but unfortunately that wasn't enough. Lighting up the Grand West uh, by using the Gold Greeny was... not enough for the game to be happy. So yeah, sorry I fell so behind on chat there. That skip takes a lot of uh, concentration. But yeah, hardcore it is really sick. And yeah, it is nice that you get to still see Luigi's silhouette um, while you're navigating out of bounds. 
I'm not consistent with it, man. <laughs> I can't do East Four Hour Still. Yeah, I really should practice it, shouldn't I? <laughs> it's easier than microwaving a hot dog. Alright, bet. Not really good spirit balls. I suppose that would mean it's easier then. Here I'm taking a little bit of intentional damage. I won't go below 40. At least not intentionally. Okay, I think that's enough damage. Yeah, this is just to keep the ghosts from spawning gold at the end. Also can help get a... Oh, unfortunate. Grab those hearts. Um, can also help get the... Uh, a lower rank, possibly. So yeah, like I mentioned earlier, lower ranks are slightly faster with their animation at the mission results screen. Yo, what's up, boys? Have you been streaming a lot? I have not, really. Last time I streamed was like two weeks ago. Unfortunate. Probably could have just flashed in there, though. That was pretty bad. I do it. Oh my goodness, you guys are ruthless. Have some respect. <laughs> oh. Yellow. Ciao. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. I did it. Dang, still almost a gold split with all those mistakes. Ooh, that's exciting. What did you figure out, Rex? That was unhinged, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm glad you understand your your mistakes. Oh, 
Oh, he's so low. Gonna have to bank this. Let's go! Think this is high enough? Let's go! GG! <laughs> really good one cycle. I'm happy with that. <laughs> So yeah, <laughs> hardcore. When a boo is too low to the ground, um, that's a hella gold split, goodness. Um, when you launch them at the train, because they're so low, they'll hit the curb instead of the train car, and they'll bounce like straight up. Not exactly straight up, but you know, they'll bounce upwards, and. Because of that, they often miss the train. So when a boo is low to the ground, you need to take extra care to like line them up to properly get them into the train. And so the strat that I tried there was like a bank shot. You have to hit them like really shallow angle, like into a corner of the track. So when they hit the curb, they bounce, you know, they bounce upwards. So they don't have terribly long before, you know, they're too high to even hit the train. So that's where the angle comes into play. Um, you bank them off of it in such a way that, you know, they're... The angle's just shallow enough that they can still go into the train. And that has to happen in a corner. Almost PB face, maybe. <laughs> this round's like actually cracked. It's, it's insane. But yeah, I still remember. I bring this up a lot, but like it's such an important memory to me. Um, way back, like 2015. It might have been 2015. I don't know. If it wasn't, it was definitely 2016. <laughs> But yeah, 20 whatever, I discovered a run by a Japanese runner named Ori Suke. And Ori Suke had this like really incredible run of E4. Like a video. He posted a video of a run in E4. And it was a one cycle. I had never seen one before, and I didn't know if it was possible. And I stumbled uh, upon the video just by chance. And when I saw that video, like, I was so amazed, like, so impressed. It was such a, like, breathtaking run for me to see a one cycle on E4. On e So yeah, that really stuck around with me. Definitely like one of the greatest runs of all time. Probably the very first one cycle on that mission. Okay. So here, I'm gonna go through this portal, run to Dark Age, where there's normally ghosts spawning right now. But because we go into this room early, or like not early, but like fast enough and like we're there, like right as soon as they're supposed to be spawning, um, they don't spawn. Same thing here with the kitchen. Usually the kitchen wave is like spawning right there. But they just decide Okay, we won't spawn. Luigi's already here. So that is a dark age in the kitchen skip. So you do... yeah, this one first.
Okay, good. If a tornado greenie gets really close to you, they'll try to like get you stuck in the tornado. It's like usually there's a timer, they only tornado for so long, but that gets overridden when uh, they get close enough to you and think that they can actually hit you. I believe I didn't get that in time. Oh, whoops. Yeah, that gobber is really hard to be um, one cycled in any percent. So now we're coming up on the Terrace. Probably the hardest fight in any percent. are shaking, dude. Oh my god, that was amazing! Might be the best any percent terrace ever. <laughs> I'd have to watch some of Lars' runs, but that was incredible. By far my best. Holy cow. <laughs> like, that was so good. My hands are shaking, dude. That was amazing. <laughs> 535 any percent. That's wild. Oh my god. That is such a good time for any percent. Wow. <laughs> Dang, I'd have to watch some of your runs, Lars. <laughs> that terrace was amazing. Maybe, yeah.
How'd I get launched that way? That's fine. I think I was just like a little bit too far into the carpet. If that makes any sense. Beautiful, you boss. Still play this like an IO, I grab the coins after. <laughs> ja ja ja, get this. <laughs> Heckin' Spanish laugh. <laughs> Nobody laughs like that. Only if you're Spanish. Here's the special cutscene, by the way. Go straight from E-Boss to King Do. Only happens once per file. Where are these balls, man? <laughs> Not bad. Got a little bit scared with the spike ball behind my back. Oh god, my thumb is falling off the circle pad. It's the hardest part of the run, dude. Can't hold right for this long. The circle pad is too smooth. Don't choke this shit. Lars, you just jinxed me. <laughs> That's okay. We're fine. Yeah, you're totally pristine. Hey, good frog RNG, let's go. I did not want that slam, no fuck, bro. Unbelievable. And he's doing this, oh my god. So unlucky. Really unlucky, dude. Wow. Oh, it's Banana's fault. Okay. <laughs> Welcome, Banana. That's fine, that's only like 30 seconds. I absolutely had to do that one um, power surge to prevent the slam. I was not in a position to survive the shockwave. But then I got ghost surfed in like such a wide loop and then barely hit the spike ball. So unlucky.
fast suck up to save the day, I'm not gonna do a fast suck up. Oh my god, dude! Jeez. Sorry, I thought he was gonna surf me into the spike on the edge there. Ah, uh, let's skip it. <laughs> let's go. GG, 24949. <laughs> That's a PB, what the heck? Yo, thanks for the forgiveness, Banana. I was so sorry about that. Oh man, I, I can't, can't believe I clutched that. <laughs> that was so scary. Like, the run was about to die in that very moment. Alright, well, I think... I think I've de-rusted, what do you think? <laughs> Where's my actual PB? There it is. Dang, we brought this run back from plus... plus 215. <laughs> it's two minutes behind. <laughs> then almost beat my PB by... could have been a minute, <laughs> but... hey, that's fine. This is true, Banana. <laughs> no de-rust for world record needed. I did do that quite a lot back in the day. But yeah, thank you so much for the GG's, guys. This was a fun run. <laughs> but yeah, lots of golds at the end really popped off at the end of Treacherous. Like, and just Treacherous in general was like such a good, um, good section of the run. We got Guard Tunnel skip, we got the Purple Toad skip. Even if we did have to mess around to get the floor to respawn. Um, E3 was fine. E4, we got a one cycle. E5 was my best E5 ever in any percent. Um, and yeah, just the little hiccup in King Boot at the end. I need to get the record back from Vicious. <laughs> Wait, Vicious doesn't have any percent. Also, yeah, really glad to have you here, Hardcore. Hope you enjoy your runs. Oh, by the way, um, if you're into Discord at all, um, we do have a Discord server. Um, for like the whole LM community, you can find the link um, on our speedrun.com page for Dark Moon. In fact, let me just go ahead and send send that real quick. So yeah, here is where you can find um, our leaderboard. You know, we have our missions, obviously, any any percent, your game plus hundred <laughs> percent, no re no links. Uh, uh, but yeah, there's also the Discord link um, that you can see, like by the Discord icon. Uh, you can join our community, like LM server. It has all the games: LM, LM2, LM3, etc. Um, so yeah, that is a good place to like connect with the community if you're like interested in that. Um, but yeah, and then there's also all those resources that I I mentioned earlier. Um, Available on speedrun.com as well. <laughs> Gloomyvicious.com. What? I, I don't even want to know if that's real. <laughs> Yo, what's up, MJ? How the runs been? We just got a PB. 249.49 is my new any percent PB after like four years. So, 
really happy to get this time. The the drought is over, um, and we're back in it. Finally got sub two fifty after all this time. Not real sight. <laughs> hey, someone's got to make it now, right? <laughs> Uh, but anyways, jokes aside, um, I am running out of time. Uh, I should probably be, probably be going soon. I've got some stuff that I need to do. Um, so, yeah, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Really did enjoy this run. Um, enjoyed the company. And, yeah, as always, uh, take care, and I will see you next time.